doctor and he oh, he wants a job. You did a lot of plays today. Or it seemed like you did. Uh, I try. Uh, man, it just came a long way. don't have a You know, uh, people calling you out. It's a God's time. It's a rest. I ask him to take the game away from me. I just beg and I pray about it. And he just continue to bless me. You look like it. Felt a lot better than that. Oh, yeah. Felt a whole lot better. But, Dahl, where did you see people calling you out? Was that something you experienced on social media? Oh, no. I'm just saying, uh, yeah, a little bit of social media stuff, but I don't really pay that much attention to it. I mean, uh, the people on the inside, like uh, my teammates, my family, uh, they don't people I really pay attention to. How'd you feel towards the LinkedIn, LinkedIn audience since getting back? How'd you, how'd you feel? I felt pretty good. I couldn't keep going. When did it kind of start to turn the corner? When did you see a noticeable difference in, in how it was feeling? Uh, just going to treatment every day and uh, talking to the docs and just managing and just doing everything that I can on my part to make sure I'm good to go on Saturday. And just give the rest to the man above and the trainers and uh, strength coaches and stuff like that. Get ready. What was the one thing that motivated you to try to get back and finish the season? I mean, my love for the game, my love for my family. Uh, I mean, they who I really do it for, my teammates. I see them down and I try to pick them up. I mean, I just couldn't let them down. Well, they were gashing. I was pretty good for about a quarter and five or six minutes, and then guys basically shut them down. What was the difference? Uh, just uh, making a couple changes, uh, alignments, uh, just fitting it up and just getting the job done, executing. Look like for Dom on, on that one long early, early long <coughs> touchdown run that maybe you and Marquise were a little confused before the snap. Do you remember that play and what happened there? Uh, a little miscommunication. That's all, but it's fine. What was the mode of the defense when Chad went out? Uh, I, to be honest, uh, Coach Kiff just pulled us aside, and uh, I really didn't even notice because when we sit down, we usually meet as a defense and it's like surrounded with people so you really can't even really pay attention to the game. So I was just listening to the corrections and just going. I really didn't notice well, until the end. What was the mood of the defense losing, you know, young blood guy who was, you know, filling in for you first part of the year, but obviously a team captain on that side of the football? Uh I mean young blood's an older guy. He'd been around a long time and I wish him a speedy recovery. I don't really know what's going on, but I'm about to go see him in a little bit. Uh, uh, just rally together and get it done because I know that's what he would want. So. Obviously, the whole team feels that way. Y'all all ran out there to the car. Mm -hmm. uh, we got great respect for older guys. You know, uh, he can, I didn't come in exactly with him. He was here when I first got here. But it's older guys like that, including myself, that just uh, God showed me the way and try to show the younger guys the way too. So just try to lead by a good example and stuff like that. That's about it.